together. I've now got the chassis back on the workbench. I've got the speaker hooked up here. And I removed the horizontal output, damper, and vertical output tubes. Some sets operate the audio detector with a boost voltage produced by the flyback stage. So they wouldn't work in this configuration, but I think looking at the schematic here, it looks like this one operates the audio stage with regular B plus voltage. I'm going to have to take the shield off the IF stage here to check it out. Looks like somebody's been into this before based on looking at the solder here. So we'll uh, get this open and check out some of the voltages in there. Okay, I've got the problem figured out, I think. At least I've got audio now. I was, I was, just, I was not suspecting tubes first because tubes, at least in, in radios and amps, tend to not be the, the most likely suspect. But this actually turned out to be a tube-related problem here. I've got the DTV converter hooked up to the RCA antenna circuit. Turn the volume up. Here on ABC. have got good sound. I hate my job. I'm not making enough money. I work weird hours. I'm not happy. Something's got to change. <laughs> And I was using the Zenith TV as a test signal source, and I was just getting a very weak signal uh, when I hooked it up to the uh, to the audio detector stage. So I know I was getting something, but then I, I what I did then was to put the test signal into the uh, into the grid of the last IF stage, and no, nothing passed through the tube. I was getting a little bit of audio with the IF from this Zenith tuner hooked to the output, but not at the input. So I thought, well, it must be a tube, or it may be a tube. So I took out the last IF amplifier tube, which was a 6JC6, and I looked through my tube bin here. I didn't have a 6JC6, but I had a 6JD6, and I did a search on the World Wide Web and found that they were compatible. So, I put it in, now I've got good sound. Might need to do a little fine tuning. So, now we'll take this down to the, to the cabinet and we should be able to get a picture now. Now I've got all the modifications made to the RCA CTC28 I wanted to do. First of all, I put in a relay to switch the power. And I just I hooked that up so that the original power switch just switches current into the relay coil. And the relay actually does the switching. It's a 110 volt coil on the relay. And then I hook the uh, relay output up to the high line voltage temp of the power transformer to try to uh, reduce the line voltage slightly due to the the higher line voltages prevalent today. It's got a, a normal tap and a high tap and it recommends the high tap up like where areas where there's 128 volt AC. I think it's about 120 to 122 here. So I'll see how that works. It, it probably will help prolong the life of components. And I hooked up a, uh, a test panel here. The top two terminals are for testing regulator current, and I hooked them up to the 1,000 ohm or the yeah the 1,000 ohm resistor on the high voltage regulator. And the other two are for testing horizontal output cathode current. And I hooked those up to the cathode circuit of the horizontal output tube, plus put a fuse in there. I I thought I had some 300 milliampere fuses somewhere, but I couldn't find them, so I just put a 1.5 amp in for test purposes. I might need to go ahead and buy some more fuses. The current should be about 200 milliamps, so we'll do a current check once we get it all set up back in the cabinet. But I'll just demonstrate now how the, uh, the relay works. Now I'm going to discharge the CRT before reconnecting 
the high voltage lead. And I'm going to see if, let me turn the light off here, we'll see if we get a spark. Yeah, see there was a little spark there. There was a charge. The CRT can somehow end up re-accumulating a charge after it sits for a while. So I'm just going to re-discharge before reconnecting. Now we've got the uh, the set hooked up, and I've uh, got a picture now. Although I think I might still have some weak tubes in there. Let's see if we can view it here. The DT ver the DTV converter is going a little wild here. Let's see if we can get the sound back. Hair, dark eyes, you can wear those bright, strong whites. If you're a little bit softer, more fair face, it's not too bad. Nice. Looks like the yoke is tilted. I've never undressed so many women in my life. Dozens of dresses later, Catherine still can't seem to say yes to any dress. Everybody, if you have an extra size six or a ten, these teams seem to be having better luck. We have a winner over here, Team Allison. And this is a nightmare. It's kind of Puritan's gone wild. <laughs> Catherine, how are we doing? Hold my hands, let's all pray. Okay, sweet Jesus, please let this be the one. Can I open them yet? Looks like, looks like a pretty good picture. I'd like a little more contrast. may just need to check for other weak tubes in the video and IF stages. Now this would have been like a five or six But now we can uh, go ahead and put it back together. Put the tuner back together. In my beauty boutique. I believe you guys know each other. What do you think? Speechless. Excellent. Go on and get a closer look. What do you think? But it's got good color. Don't make me get the tissues. And I think I might have to remount the relay. There wasn't quite enough room for the relay to fit in there. So I think I might just have to mount it to the cabinet. But I'll do that and I'll... I don't have an update on this after I kind of get it all put back together. <laughs> One more thing I'm going to do is to check horizontal output cathode current. Now that I've got the cathode uh, test set up uh, put in here, I was just able to remove the fuse and then hook up the milliameter. I've got a 0.47 microfarad capacitor parallel across the meter terminals. Now I'm going to uh, turn the set on and we'll check the cathode current. Take a look at the relay here. You'll notice a spark when it starts up. The heavy current draw of that circuit has now been transferred to the relay from the power switch because there have been cases of power switch fires in these. And I've seen cases where I haven't experienced any uh, fire myself from it. But I've had cases where the power switch is burned open, and it's just due to just due to carbon. Uh, well, just due to that high current causing arcing in there. So you notice the spark in the relay when it starts up. But if the relay contacts get pitted, then we could just replace the relay instead of having to try and figure out a switch that would work as a replacement. Now we're noticing cathode currents start to come up. Launch my career. Updates on our most unforgettable thank yous of all time. Friday. It's Macy's Thanksgiving sale. This so it looks like we're at about two hundred ten dollars when you spend ten million savings pass. Check your newspaper at Macy's.com. This Friday, the saving is on us. Macy's Thanksgiving sale. I Expensive think that's okay. I when there's Olay Regenerous. Might try and see if I can adjust it down anymore. And not only that, eighty percent of women foil for adjusting the screen. I'll have to double check and see where it is. But I think that's within the range of acceptable current. I think two hundred MA might be about as low as you can get it. I just want to get it as low as you can. Eighteen days, Let's go, young lady. Twelve days. Let's see what we've got here. 
out of the DTV converters. Just Nine minutes and 42 41. So the Hallmark countdown. I might need to fine tune it. I can't get to the fine tune. Gold crown store. I was able to get the color to lock in before by just turning it's on and off the Happy AFT. Days. For the first time ever, Coles opens at 3 a.m. with over 400 early bird specials. You gotta be kidding me. You know where I'll be at 3 a.m. on Friday? I'll be asleep in my nice warm bed. It's crazy. Your choice of kitchen electrics for $9.99 and 40 to 60 percent off watches. Plus, get ten dollars Coles cash every single time you spend fifty. No limits, no restrictions. Okay, Save well, we'll just have to fine tune it to bring the color in. Great things. I'll keep you updated on the on the progress we we'll make the with the CTC 28. Everything you need for your home. Or